Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm in my Ford E250 working vehicle and as I was cleaning, as you can see, I'm cleaning uh, this uh, space is not cleaned yet. I came across an uh, uh, issue. I, actually, I known of this issue uh, three years ago. Um, the lighter, the uh, what you call it? Yeah, cigarette lighter, what they call it. Well, this one works, right? And if I switch it to, I have two of them. If I switch it to this one, this one doesn't work. And uh, I went online to uh, look for the uh, circuit breaker, where the circuit breakers are. Well, in 2009, circuit breaker for the uh, cigarette lighter is in the engine. But I know most of the vehicles have uh, circuit breakers right underneath your uh, um, steering wheel. Where the breaker and gas pedal is, this is the cap of it. So we're gonna go around and look at the uh, the circuit breakers that are in the engine, which are right next to the coolant, which I have to clean the entire engine and. Um, where is the circuit breaker for that um, particular one? It's right here. If you can see it, there's two um, feet sticking out. I took it out. I'm guessing this is for the one that's working cigarette lighter because it does work. But this one is for the one that doesn't work, which I took out the uh, 30 amp, wherever it is. And it's right here you can see it it's been split on both sides see the gaps on those wires two wires they are circulating around there are two gaps so it's burned out I did lose the cap as I was pulling I didn't know how to like I have no idea how to work with these things seriously and I lost the cap I did not realize that that the cap of this was um, you can take it off so I lost it it's it's somewhere inside the engine and it actually flew off all right so since I don't have a spare of this type of a circuit breaker I need to fix it well you probably guess that I'm gonna fix it with the solder all right I'm gonna solder it just a little bit it's a temporary fix it's not gonna be uh, in a long term to fix until I go somewhere and buy myself uh, some of these uh, circuit breakers. Probably on a uh, junkyard. I'm gonna go on junkyard and pull some of these circuit breakers, put them in my pocket. I don't even have to pay for them. Seriously, like I'm not gonna even pay for them. I'm just gonna put them in the pocket and leave. You know, I'm gonna go to a junkyard, and get something else for my uh, vehicle, and pull some of these out, put them in my pocket. Yeah, I mean they're. There shouldn't be, I mean, even if I wanted to buy them, they shouldn't be costly. But if they are like, I bet they're, they're going to charge me one to two dollars and I'm not going to pay for it. Seriously, like, I'm, I'm just going to grab maybe like two or three of these, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I have the money. It's just sometimes when I go to a junkyard, these small things like this plastic thing, you know, seriously, like you want me to pull this out of my pocket? and pay for it no I'm not gonna do that I really am not gonna do that I'll, I'll, I'll pay for the larger things like wheels and whatever you know, stuff I'm gonna do pay for this little thing you know that's gonna cost like what a dollar it, it would it would suck if if this thing costed more than a dollar you know then I really am glad that I'm not gonna pay for it <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to fix this by soldering and hope for the best. As you can see, it's a temporary fix. It's not one of my best uh, works. I mean, it's horrible. But um, I was using a 
horrible type of solder as well with the thick uh, uh, end of it. I have 10 ones, but I didn't wanna. I was too lazy to change them, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna fix it like this. So, don't know what the rules are, which way it needs to be placed in, but I'm gonna place it this way and hope for the best. Uh, I don't think that I should put my finger in there. Don't know what. Okay, I need something. I have some tools here. Maybe with one of my gloves. Like I thought I had some tools. Okay, here. Yeah. This thing. Kind of push it in. There you go. All right, let's see if this thing works. Let's see if this works. Mm. This one still works. Like, see if I turn on. What? Well, let's see if this one works. Those, no, I don't. Doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so it didn't work. It just I had to uh, move it a bit. See this weird thing is that see that works. It doesn't work. Like I literally had to There you go. Now it works. I know it's weird. Could be that this thing it's acting up or there's something in there it's not properly working but it works it does work it's a temporary fix it's not something that's gonna be a long-term fix because there's no way I'm gonna keep that uh, circuit breaker in there like that I definitely gonna have to go ahead and buy uh, new ones probably either new ones or end up on a junkyard and Pulling some off of junkyard because I might need some more of these. You never know, you know. I might need some 40s, 50s, 30s, 20s as well, and some of those as well. 10s, 20s, 15s, 5s, whatever they are. A couple of these, pull these out as well. You know, each, you know, at least one or two each of these. I just have to remember which ones and you know keep them around just in case uh, I need them just like this one and there you go that's a temporary fix um, this is on your, your own risk this is not something that I advise to fix it and forget about it this is a temporary literally a temporary like a uh, few hours fix you know because I'm gonna head out to the junkyard or to advanced out or uh, out of zone and get me some some of these uh, I need a 31 because this was a 30 and yeah definitely gonna have to buy either brand new one or get some off of junkyard so I end up on the junkyard and I got myself a new 30 amp breaker so this one is not good anymore and the new one is right there with the sign of 30 and that is exactly what I needed and guess what happened well I mentioned I was gonna steal it that's exactly what I did now it doesn't look like my 30 amp See, see the difference I don't think they can see the difference so this one has a circular and like 30 here 30 here this one only has 130 and just one single single wire this one has two wires circulating so I don't know I mean it should do the work right 
or, or is it going to be an issue? I don't know. Let's see. It does fit. So it does fit. I mean, I, I stole it. You know, I didn't buy it. I want to buy myself, uh, I mean, get myself a handle uh, for the back door of the vehicle. And in the meanwhile, I'll just open up uh, the circuit breaker box and took a few of the circuit breakers. And I noticed that there's a difference between the two, but I mean, this should be fine. Should work. Actually, I'm gonna test it out. And see, it's, it's gonna work. Oh yeah, all these, all these little uh, gadgets I literally stole. I'm gonna put them inside this box right here. I even stole some of these screws, which I need. Yeah, for the door here. The door. It's missing one right there. Yeah, I know. I'll screw that out the back here. As soon as I test my um Okay, what's gonna let's see if this is gonna work. Now this one's all tricky. Alright, there we go. Well pump maybe like that. There you go. It does work. It works. Alright, cool. How about this one? This one's a little better. That one works as well. As you can see. There you go. Turned off. Turned on. Good. Works. Well, did it work? Oh, yeah. Uh, on Junkyard, I actually... This was... This is the brand new glove today. I put them on. Went on Junkyard. This is what happens to it. And I also... Um, hurt myself a little bit. That's blood there. But that's alright. I don't care much about it. Alright, so stole some 50 amps, stole some 20 amps, stole some of these. I don't know what they're for, but just just in case I need them. I might not need them. Who who knows? You never know. I just put it in my pocket because this is small. Alright. Alright, I finally found this whole plastic thing on a junkyard. Remember in a previous video I said uh, this costed on Advanced Auto at the Advanced Auto this and the handle of it costed a hundred fifty dollars. They wanted hundred fifty dollars for it. On online you could probably get it a little cheaper than that. Uh, this is the old one that I had issues with and I finally found one on the junkyard yeah I, said, I did a little um, grinding I need to paint all this uh, stuff so it lasts longer and guess how much this costed me on the junkyard All right, only six dollars only six dollars so there's a huge difference between the brand new one and on the junkyard. Of course, on the junkyard, it's not a brand new one, but it's going to last if you, you know, clean it up a little bit, uh, take care of it. It's going to last you as, as long as the brand new one. But there's a huge difference. $150 and a $6. That's a huge difference. I mean, you're just throwing away $150 on a brand new one when you can get one off of junkyard. I was expecting, I honestly was expecting one of these to cost between $20 and $30, but uh, to my surprise, it cost only $6. I was like, what? That's crazy. It's like it's almost free. It's almost free, this, this part right here that I needed. Anyways, I bought it. I have to clean it up a little more. Spray paint it, but I'm not going to do it right now. It's raining, so uh, it's not going to be a... I mean, I just might uh, grind a little more, and then maybe some other day I'll have to take it off again and spray paint it so it, you know, protect it from the uh, rust. One thing uh, I had issues with this one is 
this thing right here would stick. It was like when I open it, it would end up getting stuck to this position, which I cannot do it anymore. Like that, like so. It would now I spray uh, spray the WD forty under and some grease to uh, loosen it up a little bit and hopefully that's gonna work itself out eventually I have to clean my I am um, still bleeding crazy anyways that's it for this video